Hey guys, it's your buddy Rome. Today we're gonna to take a look at this offering from Godox. This is the MB100 by light. That means it's a bicolor light. This light is going to be able to adjust between your warmer temperatures all the way up to some of your colder temperatures. We're gonna take this over to my desk. We're gonna unbox this guy, see exactly what comes in the box, and I'll give you a little bit of insight on how I will personally be utilizing this light going forward in my everyday workflow. You guys ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, guys, let's take a look at exactly what comes in the box. As you can see, this is very well packaged. First thing we're greeted here with is our starter manual, which comes in really handy. We also receive our power cable. This is a powered light. We get the light mount. This is metal, very well built. Here is our power brick with a standard barrel plug. This is the reflector that comes with the light. Also, very well built. So here's some color gels. I've never seen these before. But these are gels that basically fit over the light, like so. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll give it a shot. But you get a couple of those. You get your red, green, blue. You get like, um, I guess we'll call this an amber, white, and also a yellow. So you get all of those in the box as well. And here is the main event. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you right off the box, out of the box, this feels great in the hands. Feels like a metal shell. Got nice venting all the way around. You have your fans here on the back. Fan venting here on the top. You have this little covered... Um, this little plastic cover here for your light element. To release it, you just press this little button here. You can be able to rotate it and just take it out like so. And then you can take your adapter, drop that guy in, and then lock it in place, okay? Now all of your controls are gonna be back here on the back. You have this little LCD here, your power button and your mode button. All right, so let's get some power connected to this guy and take a closer look at it. All right, guys. So here's the light. I just attached this small little tripod to it just, you know, for the video, sake of the video. But, of course, it does come with this mount, as you guys uh, saw me talk about earlier. And this does have those little prongs here to prevent it from rotating once you connect it, which comes in really nice. You can also attach an umbrella to this if you so choose to. Now, as far as the modifiers that are available to this, I have a few Godox products. And just to be clear, guys, this modifier is not going to be compatible with your Bowens mounts. Uh, there is an adapter that you have to purchase separately in order to utilize this with some of your standard modifiers. All right, so let's take a look at the power. So here is the power brick that comes with it. As you guys can see, I do have it powered on. You have an option here of either utilizing USB-C or using DC power. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test it with the included cable. And we're just gonna plug this guy in like so. And we're going to remove this little film over the LCD. There we go. Let's go ahead and power it on for the first time. 
and you guys can see now this is at 100% power and you guys can see how bright that is. I wanted to keep it at this angle so you can see what the uh, light pattern looks like. So let's go ahead and reduce that. Let's bring that down to a manageable. So now we have it at only 10%, as you guys can see, still relatively bright. Now this reflector is a 15 degree reflector. You can purchase additional reflectors with this guy as well. I'm gonna bring this down to its lowest setting so it won't be so harsh on the video. So this is all the way down to one, guys, and that is still extremely bright, okay? I don't hear the fans kicking in, but of course the light has not gotten hot. It hasn't been on very long, but you guys get the idea. And like I said, it does have some effect modes that you can go through. Uh, I'm not gonna go through those here in the video, at least not in this video, but I wanted you guys to get a basic overview of what this light's capabilities are. This is gonna be a very nice portable light uh, for running gun type of video productions. All right, so let's go ahead and try it with a power bank to see how well it does with the standard power bank. And then we'll wrap up the video and I'll give you guys my final thoughts uh, here at the end. All right, so we're just gonna lay this guy on the side. Now I have this little power bank here from Ugreen. This is a 145 watt power bank. We're just gonna grab a standard USB-C cable and we're gonna plug it in to this battery. And then we'll plug it in to our light, like so. And we should have power. Okay, I think this cable may be an issue. So let's try that with a different cable, just to be clear. Okay guys, so I swapped out this cable that you guys see here with a different cable. Now the cable that I've connected to the battery power bank is a USB-C to USB-C. And we're gonna just test this one. We're gonna just plug this guy in right here, like so. Hit our power button. And as you guys can see, it now works with just this power bank, which comes in super clutch. So let's see what our maximum power output can be using just this battery. So we're at 25%, 40%, 50 percent. So maximum power output we can get from this light using a power bank is 50 percent. But let me tell you guys, that is still significantly bright. So most of the time you will not be using uh, your light at that intensity unless you're using it maybe as a bounce or something like that, which I do recommend. I think this would be an ideal main light bounced off of a reflector or something you know that you want to utilize in your studio. But in a nutshell, guys, just to give you guys some insight on this light, I think this is an excellent little light uh, for, like I said, my running guns uh, videographers as well as people who are doing weddings and conferences or content creation or whatever the case it may be. And there's a variety of different type of modifiers that you can purchase for this light. So definitely take a look at the full lineup from Godox. I think you guys are gonna be really happy with this product. All right guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech. I just wanna do a quick video unboxing this light, letting you guys take a look at it and uh, basically giving you guys a little bit of insight how I'm gonna be utilizing this going forward. Now, really quick, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I plan on mounting this light on one of my cameras, just in case you wanna see. Here is my Sony FX30. And as you guys see, I have a mount back here on the back, and that is ideal for this type of light. So for like a running gun scenario, maybe with a little bit of a, an adjuster, I can just mount this light directly onto this camera. And with the power bank, this is gonna be ideal, okay? So let me show you guys what that looks like up close. All right guys, just to give you an idea of how you can mount a light like this on a running gun rig, this is one option. Of course, you're gonna to have to be able to power this. You could either use a V-mount battery or a traditional 
uh, one of those little battery banks that we looked at before. But as I'm saying here, there's a lot of different options as the way you can power and utilize this little light. I think this is going to be a great option for a lot of people out there. So if you're looking for a high quality light, guys, that you can you know easily um, set up for your studio shoots or whatever the case it may be, this could be exactly what you're looking for. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech, and I will catch you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace. I'm out.